Dan Halley up at the Warren District Project and today is August 25th. Just want to kind of explain some things that are going on. First off, hope you all like my uh, stylish uh, glasses. I had uh, have have my eyes repaired and I can't have any UV light in my uh, eyes for about six weeks. So I get to wear these, uh, start a new trend, you know. Um, it'll be awesome. So maybe we'll get some Sydney version of these, who knows. Put it in our merch. But anyway, what I want to explain is kind of the process and what we've got going on. So a lot of what we've been doing now for quite some time is we're figuring out the metallurgy. And what has occurred is originally when we started working on this project, all you ever heard us talk about was gold and silver. And, um, you know, nothing wrong with just gold and silver. But what, is, what we found through our work, uh, particularly over the winter and then the spring and then through the summer, is that we have PGMs in uh, the ore in, in large quantities, based particularly on what our assays are showing. Um, we've had confirmation from two different labs now that there's PGMs uh, in this material and they've identified the same PGM, so we know. But what that comes from or what our hypothesis is at this time is we're in the middle of the meteor strike zone and uh, Steve Dobson our geologist has been busy collecting um, some samples we're going to be sending those off to one of the universities up in Alaska that has uh, uh, some folks that specialize in this type of information because we're we really want to understand the how large uh, of an impact this was, but uh, we're pretty confident. We've seen a lot of uh, information, geologically speaking, that that what it indicates, because platinum group metals typically don't occur naturally in this zone, geologically. Um, <coughs> excuse me, the Warren area isn't known for uh, platinum group, but it also explains a lot of things that have occurred here geologically over the years. But what I want to show you is we've been separating cons. So, you know, they were running the table and that produces what we call our number one cons. So you can see that, and most of that is precious metals. You know, hopefully you can see the gold and their silver and there's some other super shiny uh, PGM material. Um, and there's a lot of uh, gray PGM material, um, different, multiple PGMs um, is what I'll say at this point, but uh, we're getting ready to uh, talk more about that uh, in the near future. But that scoop alone is a couple pounds. And again, most of that is precious metals. And you see, I'm just scooping it over here. I won't be able to fit everything that's in this bucket in that pan, if that just gives you an idea from what we're covering. There's another big scoop. I mean, that, I know it's wet, but that, that's heavy. I mean, that stuff is heavy. It's very, very dense. It's actually hard to actually scoop out of the bucket. So I'll scoop it, scooch it over there. But what I do with this is, dry this and then we're going to weigh it and then once it's dried weighed and then we may or may not depending on how the tests go with this we may crush it to uh, closer to 200 mesh a very very fine like very fine powder and then all of these cons get stored in the we have a great big safe up here those of you that you know, wondering how we're keeping everything secure. We got great big safes up here. We got all kinds of AI security systems, uh, people. Uh, it's pretty important stuff. So that just gives you an idea of the amount of precious metals. So what we've been doing, why we're working on the metallurgy is we continue to accumulate these so that we have buckets of this stuff. So when we figure out how to separate these, because they naturally alloyed um, in some 
most likely what was a meteorite striking a gold deposit, gold silver deposit that was naturally occurring. Because we know geologically the gold and silver in this area came in hydrothermal veins. So they're very deep veins and they come to the surface. Well, something got dropped in the middle of here and infused a bunch of PGMs um, and potentially some other rare earths and some different things like that. But there's a lot of evidence and we'll talk much more in detail about that. But it's very complex and it's a big challenge. Um, but we're working at it and I just want to kind of give you an idea of what's going on as I continue to scoop big scoops of precious metals out of this bucket so we can figure out how to turn that into bars. I'm looking forward to that happening. Dan Halley signing off. We're excited. We got gold and we got a few other things that are pretty exciting. Have a great one.